Okay, well, I've been asked to do a little uh, video on disassembling the uh, trigger guard assembly. And uh, I think it's about the only thing I haven't done already on video, so uh, we'll go ahead and give this a shot. It's pretty simple. Uh, first thing I usually do is pull the trigger a little bit and get the uh, transfer bar off. Because it will fall off. If you're not careful and then next thing is we need to remove the tension on the trigger so we need to push out this pin right there there's that pin and that holds the uh, trigger guard latch that comes out the trigger guard latch spring and you might have to give a little pull to the trigger and out will come the trigger linked plunger and so now the tensions off and probably just want to pull the trigger a little bit get it past the uh, cylinder latch so that it moves freely and then you can take the pawl off and if you look there's a little plunger right in there and you want to make sure you catch that or else it will take off. It almost took off. You can take it off now or you can take it off later. It just all depends on how you want to do it. And then once you do that, you can take your punch and push out the pin right there. And your trigger will come right out like so. Now the only thing left on the trigger guard is the cylinder latch and that also has a little plunger right there on that side and when you take that off you just slide it off and just kinda try to block it with your fingers try to catch it because that one will take off too if you're not careful but you want to make sure you keep this plunger and the spring with the with the cylinder latch and I'll uh, show you why in a minute or actually I can show you why now because the uh, plunger and the spring for the paw if you get them mixed up you know one's a little bit shorter than the other so the short one is for the paw long one is for the cylinder latch so make sure you keep those straight and that's pretty much it for the uh, trigger guard and now for the trigger only thing left on this is the what's called the trigger plunger this little piece right here and that just kinda it just falls right out and this the uh, the trigger link there's no need to really take that out it's uh... I guess you could say it's finished in it's also they've uh, punched it so that the pin won't come out you don't want to really really no need to take that out so that's about as far as you have to go on that and that's it that's all the pieces it's not too uh... not too difficult and so let's uh, go ahead and put it back together and we can just start with the cylinder latch drop the spring in there spring and plunger and then when you put it back on you just slide it on until it hits the plunger and then you can take a punch or a allen wrench or whatever but push push the plunger down as you 
push the cylinder latch over. There you go. Okay. And now we'll take our trigger. And like I said, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can just drop your uh, the trigger plunger in there and it goes like this. Drops in, it goes underneath and then sets like that. And what puts tension on the plunger is the spring for the pawl when it goes in there. And like I said, you can put this on now, but then it creates other things when you uh, try to align everything up and get the pins in. But let's just go ahead and do it like this. Make sure your the trigger link goes in the hole where the uh, spring goes. And then just have it like that. Get your pin. And you just got to kind of maybe, there we go. Get the, uh, the trigger plunger into position so that it will go through. So that's pretty much all there is to that. The only downside about doing it like this is now you have to put your pawl back on. You get the, the plunger for the pawl. You put that in there. And it's just a little bit easier with the trigger out. Like I said, you can, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can use your, your finger or your punch. And there we go. That wasn't too bad, actually. So now that's that's in place. Okay, now let's go ahead and let's work on the rest of this. We'll drop our trigger link plunger in like that. Spring. And we want to get this so that there we go. You want the trigger to be forward. See, it was back there like that. If it's back there like that, it's going to be real hard trying to get that, uh, get the spring and the uh, cylinder latch in. So you want to push the uh, cylinder latch down so that the trigger will go forward. And that's where you want it. Okay, so now you can easily put the trigger guard latch in. Push it in. Put the pin in, and bam, there it is. And then put the transfer bar back in, just pull the trigger a little bit. And that goes right in there, like so. And that's it. It's not hard. Uh, you do it a couple of times, you'll get the hang of it. Like I said, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. Uh, whichever one you like best, uh, that's up to you. But there it is, real easy. And if you get lost, don't forget, on page 31 of your owner's manual, there's the exploded view. So that can give you some help if you get lost or anything but uh, there it is hopefully uh, that was clear and uh, you could see everything real easy to do so take it easy and thanks for watching